Hi, I'm Marcy Wansang, BenQ Brand Ambassador and XRI Colorado. In this video, I like to focus on the BenQ SW series of displays, specifically the 27 inch and larger ones that come with a custom hockey puck. So in this video, I'd like to show you how you can go ahead and custom program the hockey puck so that the different buttons here, the one, two, and three, can correspond to your custom profile. So in this case, if you have gone in and do either a dual illumination on one device or if you own multiple devices and you have different calibration slot assigned to a specific device, this is a great way for you to quickly switch between the profile. But before we do that, I'd like to show you what the default value is for all these buttons. If you go ahead and press on one, the default is to go to sRGB. Two, the default is to go to Adobe RGB. You can see the color becoming a little bit more saturated. And the third, it's black and white mode, which is really awesome because it turns your entire screen black and white. In reality, it doesn't turn your picture black and white though. You still need to use the image editing program that you have to turn your photo into black and white, but it's a great way to preview your photos in true black and white mode. So now we're gonna go back to one here. This is sRGB. Now this is by no means actual calibration that I have for this specific device. So that doesn't really work out because I'm not picking the right hardware calibration mode for my specific computer here. So now the one way we can do it is we can touch like the OK button here in this case and we'll go into the second menu for color mode. And we can go in and pick the color mode here. In this case, I'll scroll down to calibration two because right now I have this set on 120 candela. This is calibration two for this specific device. But there has to be a better way than this, right? Well, there is. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can custom function or custom program these buttons so that it corresponds to your exact color that you want. So the first thing you want to do is press OK to bring up the screen menu. And then what we're going to do here is go into the setting menu right there. So now that we're here, we're going to go in under system, the kind of pink menu. And we're going to go tap right there, scroll down. until you see controller one, two, and three. So in this case, we're gonna talk about controller one first, controller key one. This is controller key one. We're gonna go ahead and press okay. Right now, controller key one is set to sRGB. We don't want sRGB. In this case, I want controller key one to correspond to calibration slot one on my display. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down to calibration one. Boom, just like that. Let's go to controller key two. Controller key two is corresponding to Adobe RGB in this case. Now, if you want to change this, you simply just do the same thing all over again, like I've done before. In this case, we're going to set to calibration two. So now I can do dual luminance. Now, if I like, I can set the controller key three in this case. If I want to keep it black and white, I can. But in this case, this display, I also use it with my laptop and I find that being able to quickly change between different devices is more useful to me than going into full black and white mode really quickly. What I'm going to do here is go back into the menu again. So be mindful that sometimes the menu will time out and in this case we have to go back inside the menu again through the full menu and change this out. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to controller key three. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick calibration three. So now that I have this done, I can go ahead and press the bottom return key and go out. So now I have three custom calibration set here. So one is going to show calibration one. Calibration one, in this case, I did a dual luminance calibration on my Mac. Pro. So custom calibration one is 80 candela. Now I have custom calibration two set to calibration slot two and it's a little bit brighter. This is set to 120 candela and custom calibration three in this case is not going to be relevant to this specific computer because I have it set specifically for my laptop. So that is how you go in and custom program the BenQ SW hockey puck so that it corresponds 
to the specific calibration that you want, whether it be the calibration slot one, two, or three, or a different color mode, Adobe RGB, sRGB, black and white, DCI-P3, Rec. 709. Depending on the mode that you want to use, you can go in and customize it that way. I hope that you find this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in a the comment below.